My name is Chris Plant, and I'm going to tell you about the games that should be installed on every iPhone. Desert Golfing is a game about golfing in the desert. That might sound very simple, because it is. At least for the first 18 holes. But then you realize by hole 19, and hole 20, and hole 100, and hole 200, and hole 300, that golfing in the desert is kind of meaningless. And so are video games. And so is everything. So why is it fun? Well, on a very basic level, hitting a ball far away from you and into a hole is just really pleasing to your senses. I can't really describe it any other way. But then there's the mystery of it. What's gonna happen on a hole 252? Will it be anything like 251? There are these slight tweaks and variations that gradually appear throughout the game, and you can't help but wonder, does the desert ever end? Angry Birds is well, very popular. You probably already have it installed on your iPhone. But if you don't, and you've waited this long to play it, well, that's kind of awesome. Because in all the years since Angry Birds release, its company, Rovio, has been adding more and more features and levels to it for free. So right now, if you get Angry Birds for 99 cents, you're getting a pretty feature-rich game, full of levels and things to do and lots of pigs to hit. Because that's what you do in Angry Birds. You're a silly little bird, or birds, who gets thrown or catapulted at pigs. How this became the most popular game in the world for a brief period of time is beyond me. Super Hexagon is a reflex game, which is to say you have to have really good reflexes to play it. Or you have to be able to be trained to have really good reflexes. Maybe that's the better way to describe it. Because you start out on an easy level trying to move a little triangle through a maze that is wrapping around you. It's kind of hard. And you get a little better, and a little better, and things get a little faster, and a little faster. Until you're a freakish superhero who can move a triangle around a maze. Why do that? Why do anything? We talked about this. Video games. They don't really serve a purpose. And that's kind of what's magical about them. Game over.